guys, we are live out here in the famous The Hoarder House here in Glendale. You saw us before at a little recap. We were in all in the hoarder suits, coming in, clearing this out. We thought it was be four to five containers. We're now at 15, or actually that's our 16th container. We're bringing you behind the scenes, giving you full transparency to all these projects. We'll be doing one home every single month from acquisition to disposition or just stabilization if we keep it as a rental, showing you everything from A to Z again, soup to nuts. You guys saw it when it was loaded with feces, cats, dogs, all the you know trash and whatnot, and we got that hauled out and found some treasures in that trash. And then we came back again as a recap, and you saw we had the preliminary plans, we submitted for permits, we gave you guys the floor plan of what it's gonna be. And now we're here today, and I got Carlos and his crews, so they've been out here Again, clearing it out, prepping, and where are we at today? We've already had four inspections. We've had plumbing inspection, we did electrical inspection, HVAC inspection, and drywall inspection. So what is next? The final certificate of occupancy, the final inspection. So at this point, it is all guns blazing to the finish line. So we're gonna putting in the floors, we've already got the kitchen, everything is prepped and ready, all the mechanicals, we're ready to go. Now we just assemble it, finish up the surgery, suture it up, and then make sure that the doctor reviews and says the patient's ready to go home, AKA the house is ready for sale or rent. So let's give you the update. You probably say, wow, this is insane because last time you saw it, again, we're tripping over various items in here from wheelchairs to dog, you know, memorabilia and all the whole thing. So now you can see it in its raw forms. The floors are prepped. We got all the texture and everything ready to go. All the new framing and wiring. You could see that the old kitchen started right here and there was a pantry here before, just to bring you up to date. Every window is brand new. We got new ducts in here. The kitchen has been redesigned with a refrigerator over here. You recall the old fridge used to be over here. They framed in a new slider, which you can tell the differential here. This will be a little dining area here and living room, so it's an open concept. It's very important in these deals to think about functionality. So many people are thinking about just aesthetics and finishes. You need to always step out of the forest to see the trees. We're modernizing this home, we're making it beautiful, and hopefully at the end, of course, we make some money. The greatest change that we did is through here. This used to be closed off. Now, this is a pass-through because this home was a two-bed, two-bath. And there's an addition back here that didn't have any plumbing or anything. This was the old bathroom and the other bedroom over here, crazy transformation. And now we have what's called a split floor plan. This room was just a back room and the only way to get to the room was through another bedroom. Very dysfunctional. So now what do we do? We closed it off. There used to be sliders over here where you can see that drywall. That's all closed off. And you got a separated back suite with your own private entrance into the backyard. So you got a walk-in closet and we got a brand new bathroom over here, a large bathroom, very functional. If you're gonna do it, always do it right and do it big. So that's what we did in here. I'll bring you back to the other rooms. And to be proactive, I've got the landscapers here, right? Because the time is now, if we're gonna go to the finish line, we're waiting for final inspection, then we're gonna start working on landscaping too because time is money. And now, here was our other bathroom that we got. Did everything again brand new. We didn't retain anything, it's all good. I like the big niche, which is super cool because it gives a good design perspective. Bedroom number one. Guys, this is insane. Look at the feces still in here. It's wild, right? We haven't painted in here or cleaned this portion, but unbelievable. You're getting some of the raw footage here, if you will. Um, and we're gonna go tile throughout this whole home. So it's gonna be beautiful. And again, this is the other room that we were in ravaging through all the merchandise. That was the old door to the bathroom and now that is the hallway to the primary. So major, major change you can see above you. We're getting everything ready to code, smoke detectors, hard wiring, everything rocking. And this, this is a nice sized room because this was the old primary. You gotta think about it. Who wants to buy a two bed, two bathroom home? Almost nobody. You want a three bed, two bath. Now it's fully functional, it's beautiful, it's a split floor plan. It is absolutely stunning, functional, and the finishes here are gonna be beautiful. We're gonna go make some landscaping decisions outside to make the outside just as beautiful as the inside. You gotta do both. You're gonna do it, do it right, and bring your game to the highest level. He picks up a first down. Oh man, look at I gotta teach my man Zach how to throw a football, but he's no teaching question. me so much today in real estate. I learned so much. I'm so grateful for this opportunity. And look, you guys, I learned how to take this trash 
to cash. And my man taught me everything. It was a true masterclass today. Guys, if you want to see more content like this, stay tuned every week. We're going to be updating the station. We're going deep. We're throwing touchdowns. We're doing short passes. We're bringing you everything you want to know about real estate, turning trash to cash. That's what we do. That's what we excel in. And we'll also enhance our spiral throws. Baby. Working on it, baby. Come on, Working give me a good on one. It. Give me a good Have one. Have a good weekend. There we go. That All right, better. there we go. There we go. <laughs> Let's do a nice piece of turf with a border, some rock, and then demo all this shit out and clean it out. We need some greenery. This thing is dark, it's desert, it's ugly. We're gonna do a 15 by 25 piece of artificial turf surrounded by a border. Typically we do a stepping stone from the patio. It's important to have branding in your marketplace. But then we have a big area of concrete back there where there was a big shed. So there's no point to demo out the concrete. Let's leverage it, it could be a nice seating area. Why would I wait to finish the whole inside of the house and then have the landscapers come out later and waste another month? That would cost three or $4,000 in terms of carrying costs to not have this ready. So it's very important to make sure that people are working concurrently, cohesively, synergistically to get this thing to the finish line and not have any delays or bottlenecks in your project. Give a plug to my guys, Axel Landscaping, right? And Gomez Aguilar Remodeling. Super important to collaborate, right? This is my quick idea, but then I bring it through everybody. What are your thoughts? You like it or do you have other ideas? Yeah, the only thing I think that's, that piece of concrete is out of place. This piece is out of place? Yeah. It does seem a little out of place, but it's also, it could be functional. It's not horrible. How much would it cost to demo out this concrete over there, ballpark, plus removing it? We're looking at 500 bucks, more? So for $1,000 to demo, I'd rather put it in some more turf or another seating area. That's 1000 just to demo, plus the dumping fee is probably a container. That's probably, we're talking 1500 to 2000 It's not necessary. I can't stand these things. These are terrible. Let's pull all these out. Let's pull those out. Let's pull this out. But I'm comfortable working with this white rock because I don't know our final colors, but I'll get with Chandra to get the colors on that. Obviously, we're going to paint the face, clean up the front over here, and then we're probably going to push that rock back and we'll probably just do the same pavers in front and we could do a, like a little uh, cacti or something just to give some nice curb appeal and color in the front there. <laughs> Father and son team, you gotta love the family business and support the family business. It's amazing, they've grown exponentially from they first reached out to me for my assistant, they said, can we get an opportunity? And they've crushed great, great guys in the business. If you're in Arizona, check out Axel Landscaping, great guys. This thing is turning and burning, it's gonna be beautiful. In terms of numbers, we're right on budget, where we're off budget in terms of anticipated, I saw maybe four or five containers, but this thing was so full, we're literally 15, 16 containers. That's an extra four or $5,000 unanticipated. And in addition, because we thought that that back addition was permanent, what it wasn't, we needed some special inspections and engineering to make sure that everything is good. That was another $2,000. So effectively, we're $7,000 over budget, and it did take a long time to get through the permitting. So in terms of carrying costs, I would add another $3,000. So full transparency, we're already at least $10,000 over anticipated budget. I'm always conservative, but I had no idea that this thing was so condensed with junk and exterior stuff and just refuse that it was a, uh, an error. So I don't want you guys to make those uh, mistakes. That's why we do these videos so that again, you can see and visualize, okay, now I'm gonna draw similarity to a project I'm bidding on as a wholesaler or as a buyer and end user to really adjust my budget so we don't make the same mistakes. So we want this to be educational for you, full transparent, so you can learn and be the best possible investor um, that you can be. So that's where we're at today. We're gonna be pushing to get this to the finish line and this thing will be done very, very soon. We'll see what's gonna happen, stay tuned. Look what's transpired in just the last week. We have three more days, 72 hours to final completion and calling for final inspection. I'm standing on the new pavered entry with the rocks all cleaned up, the paver border over here with plants. This place is looking absolutely stunning. Come on in, I'm super excited about it. As you can see, we got the custom doors, all the floors, the larger, thicker, timeless baseboards. It is absolutely stunning. This place is timeless. I wanna talk about all the little details we've done in this property. Look at the timelessness of all the little fixtures. This thing is transitional, modern, it will flow. This home looks good today, it'll look good in five to 10 years. The last thing you wanna do is spend $80,000 on a full remodel and then have to do it again in four or five years if you wanna exit the property. So check out the kitchen. Every single thing in here is new, from all the wiring to every door, to every slider, to the landscaping, to the vents, you name it, brand freaking new. 
quartz counters, tile custom black splash all the way through. We've got a couple floating shelves that are gonna come into here. Like I said, we're just getting the final little details. You're gonna see very little things left in this home to do. And then Carlos, the chief contract over here, will be meeting the inspector on Friday. We're working on a generator. You can tell it's a little loud here. We can't even get power until we get their certificate of occupancy. Crazy. Carlos, we gonna pass Friday? It's already done, 100%. So that's what you call confidence. So let me show you a little surprise over here when you talk about little details, which I absolutely love. We're doing all the drywall and insulation in here to pass the inspection. One of the guys fell through the attic today, right? Yeah, always surprises coming through. But look at this laundry room. Absolutely stunning. The seating space, the details, the woodwork. Beautiful. It's so important to slow things down. I know we're always in a rush to finish projects and you want to get it turned and burned. But look at the little details. Spend a little time on design. Little storage locker, little hooks are gonna be on here for the backpacks and kids. We got our laundry room. We ducted this space over here, right? So this space before didn't qualify as internal living. Now we've created the space, ducted it all on the inspection, all on the um, preliminary drawing submitted to the city. So now we have an extra roughly 180 square feet, 170 square feet at 300 bucks a foot. There's $50,000 of value right here, right? Something simple, running a duct, insulating, getting it done. So think about everything that you're doing in these projects to maximize your return. This was a great decision and didn't take much. Remember before this wall was walled off and behind it was, and you saw the diagrams in the last video, was the previous bathroom for the secondary bedroom. Now we can walk through this space and we've got great storage here, right? For the kitchen, whatever luggage, anything, you know, different accessories. And we're walking into the giant primary bedroom. We've got new windows in here, ventilation, fans, and access to the yard. It flows so well. A walk-in closet, a really large one. People love big bedrooms, especially the primary suites. This is absolutely stunning. And we created a full primary bathroom in here, and it is stunning. All brand new. Look at this, niche, shower, absolutely stunning. We even did a little granite ledge on here and we're rocking and rolling. So new lighting fixtures. We got these mirrors at Home Goods. Little tip for everybody, Home Goods is an amazing place to buy mirrors. We kept it simple white in here. Again, timeless, it appeals to the masses. It's light and bright. We did tile throughout because again, I'm gonna keep it for rental. And also anytime you have a space where you're going indoor and outdoor, you don't want carpet. It's gonna get ruined immediately. So this is easy to clean. It's easy to maintain and nothing's gonna happen to the solid porcelain tile. And that's why we selected it. Come on through, look at this bathroom now. I always do quartz counters in here. We do it all right, full surgery the first time, lighting fixtures, complimentary mirror, quartz counters, the same cabinets as the kitchen, keep things consistent. Similar design pattern to the primary bedroom, new tub, and this thing is just chef's kiss. Bedroom number two. Not too much change here. Lighting fixtures, textures, all new doors. We need some sliders and little handles. Smoke detectors hardwired in here. Couple cover plates. But this thing will be flying past inspection. Same thing here. This was the old primary suite, if you will, with the bathroom access here, and then a slider here. Of course, it's all closed off. And this is a really nice size bedroom, by the way. So it feels good, light and bright. There was not even a window here before. So we had to put a window in for egress. So as you could tell, we're just doing the final details. This thing came out immaculate. Carlos and the crews crushed this. Once they started construction, we got this thing done in four weeks, which is unheard of. Now we pass the inspection, we order power, and I get this thing rented. And the neighbors have already came over and thanked us for cleaning this up. So much more sanitary, so much more clean, and adding value to the neighborhoods feels great, but also walking in your product with beautiful branding, beautiful finishes, just a, a turnkey complete trash to cash. Okay, so final action items. Um, everything is looking great. Little touch-ups on the outside. As you saw before, we got the artificial turf, the rock, the paver over here, the stepping stone. Looks really, really good. It's functional. That was an old storage shed, so we got the concrete over there. We'll probably just epoxy that to blend it in with all of this. And you got yourself a beautiful backyard. This place looks a million times better. It looks like a million bucks. The grass is great if they got dogs or pets um, or just a barbecue in the backyard. This place is fully functional. It is beautiful. It is timeless. Proud of this one, just like all of them. The guys killed it. Shout out to all the crews over here, Carlos and his team. Chandra on the design. This thing was turnkey, seamless, and beautiful. 
and all of a sudden you guys thought I'm just gonna leave and not give you the numbers on this. Everyone wants to know, what happened? Did you make money? Did you lose money? You're an idiot. Let me tell you the details. I don't have the final numbers because we're still dialing in the last 72 hours, but I've got approximate numbers. Uh, I anticipated early on that maybe I'd spend 65 or 70. I ended up spending close to about 95,000 uh, with dumpsters. That doesn't include carrying costs, so I'm in the low hundreds. I'll be into this property all in in the high 300s, roughly about 380,000. Today, as it sits, it's probably worth about 430 to possibly 450. But I'm not worried. I still love this deal because I got a little equity in there, which is fine. Not as much as I love, but it still is fine but I'm gonna rent this house out for 2,500 a month. I'll still get decent cash on cash return. Uh, I have no leverage on this property, which is nice, so that's favorable for me. When rates drop, these prices will go up, but I'm not a seller anytime soon. I've put a lot of money, time, sweat, and tears in these projects. I'm happy to retain them in my portfolio, so I love it. So all in all, did we crush this project? We crushed in terms of construction. Would I crush if I sold this property today? No, I'd make a small return. Always important to be transparent, but it's still gonna be a solid single. It's a good legacy property to hold in the portfolio. Very proud of it. I'm happy to own this long, long term. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Once again, if you're interested in learning more and getting more in depth uh, in the backbone of real estate, learning the ins, the outs, buy and hold, fix and flip, we have a community, Flip Lift. Check out that link and it's incredible. We have amazing people in there. Learn, grow, win, have fun. See you soon.